Travis and Gimlin right here, dude. What's up, guys? We're at Expedition Bigfoot here in Cherry Log, Georgia. And right here, we're greeted by a couple movies. Minerva Monster, Beast of Whitehall, Mothman at Point Pleasant. Well, it's pretty cool because my, my name's actually in the documentary of the Minerva Monster, so it's a little bit of home in this here. This is a very cool place. What's up, Mogion family? <laughs> Here is some legends right here. Bobby Short, Stan Courtney, Dave Miller, Autumn Williams, Jim Sherman, Paul Freeman, the Freeman footage, Ray Crow, Bob Titmus, Bill Munns, Thomas Steenberg, Dr. Henry Fahrenbach, Grover Kremis, love him, Igor Bertseff, love Igor, John Binger Nagel, Nagel, legend, Tom Slick, Roger Pattinson, Rene De Hinton. John Green. This whole line of guys is a little bit suspicious. Ron Moorhead, I love him. Al Berry, Bob Gilmore, Peter Burns, JC Johnson, Tom Powell, Matthew Moneymaker, Jerry Crew, shout out Carl Crew, Jeff Meldrum, Tom Cantrell, Arlo Williams, Scott Nelson, Scott Taylor, David Politis, and Scott Carpenter. That is awesome. This is definitely the wall of fame. Hopefully soon, I will be on that wall. Really hope so. Wow, this opens up really nicely. Oh man. The Bella Bella. The knuckle print of the Bella Bella. Taken by Paul Freeman. So that might have been the, the creature in the, fall, the Freeman footage. Love the Kadar. The Tennessee Wild Man definitely influenced the Tennessee Titans. There's Jerry Crew. He found the footprints a couple years before the Bluff Creek incident. The Harry Man family. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. The Cripple Foot, found by Dr. Grover. Right to left. Oh, the Titmus Gimlin print. That's awesome. That looks similar to uh, the, the, caddy, the paddy print that I have. Laird Meadow. I've seen that picture on how to hunt. That's a very popular picture. They say the males, their head dips in between their shoulders. Oh yeah, a couple more hairy men over here. Bigfoot history. And we found the Mogion monster right here. Did you guys see this hand? This is pretty famous. The Yeti hand from Nepal. If it's real. Yeah, I think, I, I want to say this is a, a replica of the original. Because I, it's impressive if they have it here, but I know it was shown in a Buddhist temple overseas. Well, it says it's known to have DNA markers, human DNA markers. The abominable snowman. I love this mask right here. This is, that is spooky. <laughs> Oh, I see Josh Gates. What up, buddy? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, this is the Yeti Scout, too, from Nepal. Wow. Yeah, the story is a man found this Yeti deep in a cave and he returned years later and the Yeti was dead. The legend of Boggy Creek, the creature from Black Lake. I love this one. Louisiana, Texas, Florida, Alabama. Some spooky stuff. Oh, this is so cool. It's a movie theater. We're going to have to take our time and watch this in a bit, but definitely just want to do a quick tour. Dr. Warren Coleman. Actually, I'm not sure if he's a doctor. Cast it by Sheriff. Oh, Ivan Marks. Look at that. That's a huge hand frame. Incredible. Brian Smith. The Freeman hand frame. Look at that thing. What the heck? Yeah, that's so big. Like, like, look at that. It's not even comparable, man. That thing's bigger than my chest. Oh, Josh Gates, man. 
Expedition X. That is awesome. Nepal has all the action. The actual coveralls worn when he fell into the river. That's crazy. The Elkin Creek cast. So that is stained with the Elkin Creek water. <laughs> Look at the big man. Tristan, go stand by the big man for scale. Oh yeah, definitely. Look at that. Yeah, I'm five seven for reference too, so. And, oh, and guys, please pardon the mask. We're not happy we're wearing them, but yeah, yeah. they're they're forcing us and I didn't I'm not missing this opportunity again. Teddy Roosevelt, man. Of course he wrote about the abduction. I see Lyle Blackburn over there to the right. It's cool seeing your friends in museums wow look at these sketches wonder if harvey pratt did any of these what is this a butt print yep from paul freeman paul freeman was a busy man with the casket out there in walla walla washington it looked really really human the face was 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 human Look at that thing. I've seen a couple creatures that look like that. Can't tell if it's Puckwudgie or just little baby Sasquatches. Oh, here's some bait. Items were donated by Barb Shoop. Interactions. They were likely handled by a Bigfoot. That is so cool. Pony Island Swamp, Okafini, Ape Canyon, Boggy Creek, Elkins Creek, Bluff Creek, California, Florida Everglades. Then we got Salt Fork, Ohio, Nepal. Oh, here's Moron Moorhead. The Sierra sounds are unreal. They have reached vocal capacity that the human body cannot create. And they have the headphones right here. We were playing the Sierra sounds back at camp and I think it stirred up some action. Love the Sierra sounds. Yeah. Ron Moorhead's friends with me on Facebook. Oh wow. Awesome. Yeah, he's a cool dude. He's very approachable. Look at this tent. Did you see this? <laughs> The Shipton photo. Yup, the four-toed Yeti print. We were just talking about this on Gypsy Road and War Talk. That's kind of what our tent looked like after the monsoon. Wow. Uh, I like this, the recreation. Yeah, Chris Murphy. Yup, the Ape Canyon. All the monsters were banging and throwing rocks and peeking through the holes of the canyon. Everybody look up the Ape Canyon story. It is scary. I love the story of the Nihani Valley too, how there was a bunch of headless gold diggers. Oh, nice. The Bigfoot Research and Tech Vehicle, Brett. That's pretty cool. This is heavy. Oh man, I've, I've posted this image online many times. Look at all the giants that have been discovered. We got 36 feet tall beast and the present day human six feet. Goliath was only 10 feet and six inches. What about mud fossils and dragons that are miles long? All oh, the Native American names. We'll try and get all these on the freaking picture. Be clearly so I can at least have them. I'm gonna donate one of my books here. I think that would be a cool touch, you know? I'm freaking Connor Flynn from Bigfoot Anonymous. Boots on the ground. <laughs> the legend of Boggy Creek, the three toed cast, man. Falk, Arkansas, the beast of Boggy Creek. The legend of Boggy Creek. I always call it the beast of Boggy Creek. Part two was pretty cool, too. There's a good, good screenshot of it where uh, Sasquatch is bringing a deer out of, uh, out of the water, and a lot of people thought it was uh, 
authentic. Oh, here's the gift shop. It circles around pretty well. There's Lyle Blackburn and Cliff. Two buddies of mine. That's awesome. Everybody check out Cliff's Museum and Lyle's Books and Hot Sauce. <laughs> Couple other animal prints. That's very cool. Oh yeah, the abominable that. snowman. That's a bad man. Oh, that's a good painting. That kind of looks like the uh, Bigfoot anonymous silhouette. Yeah. I might actually pick up a souvenir from here whenever you leave. Heck yeah. Very cool stuff. We even got Nessie and Bessie, the Lake Erie monster and the Loch Ness monster. And we have Gigantopithecus partial jaw replica. Kind of reminds me of Robert Robinson's table and a toddler print, of course, taken by Paul Freeman. There's the Mayaka skunk ape too. Also known as the Gugway. Sasquatch with a little bit of a snout, horns, tusk, sharp teeth. Oh, you guys got some MetaZoo cards down here. That is awesome. MetaZoo is taken off. That shows how uh, how quick with the times, guys. Oh, a pint. Should have stopped here before the before I was around the fire with Squatch and Cowboy. Oh, Bigfoot family poo, it's hilarious. Yes, my buddy Stacy Brown representing Boggy Creek Monster, Obama Snowman, Chasing Bigfoot, Discovering Bigfoot, Bigfoot in Europe, Cultured Bigfoot, and Alien Paranormal. Wow. It's good to see Seth Breedlove getting some representation down here too. Stacy Brown and Seth Breedlove, my homies. Oh yeah. Monsters, mysteries, or myths. Bigfoot, man, or beast. In search of Bigfoot. That's a good one. Something in the woods. That was a good independent one. Invasion of Chestnut Ridge is always a weird one. A, a boomerang. A slingshot. A crypticon. Tons of Bigfoot movies. I've only probably seen a small percentage of these. Very cool. Gotta add Zilla foot in there, right? I'm in there of a monster. I'm a Bigfoot rider. I'm gonna go to my car and uh, I want to donate a book here. You know, I don't know if I'll get a front row shelf, but uh, you okay. can show show the boss. Uh, I, we have mutual friend. His name's Donnie Miller. If you want to tell the uh, the the owner okay. uh, whenever he comes in, is he coming in today? Uh, no, he's actually been pretty sick, so. Gotcha. Can't leave the house. Well, tell him his friends from Florida. He he probably know him. The guy that had the face-to-face -face encounter with one. Oh, okay. I'm sure they've had some conversations. Yeah, they probably have. <laughs> but I'll run out to my car later. Thank you. Yeah. Hat pins are $4.95. I, I thought that was for the whole hat. I was about to say, Tristan, we found the spot. Oh, here's some missing 401 books. Jeff Meldrum's book. Bigfoot Wild Men. What we need is some more Steve Stockton books and Gemma J. Right, guys? <laughs> Expedition Bigfoot, love it. Oh, a couple more. The Yowie. Oh, yes. Shout out Tyler Kennedy, he mailed me that. Florida Roadside Attractions history, baby. That's cool that's in here. And even more books right there. Oh, maybe my book will uh, make it onto this shelf. It looks like it. There's uh, How to Hunt, The Hoopa Project. The Hoopa people, oh, the Quantum Bigfoot, Ron Moorhead. Wow. And then all the weird US's. But the Hoopa project, David Ployas went and talked to the Hoopa tribe and they uh, they actually lived with the Sasquatch and then one of the Sasquatch uh, kidnapped like the chief's daughter and assaulted her brutally. Dude, they got a whole, they have a green swamp skunk ape. Really? Uh, cast over here. 
I didn't even know about this side. I didn't either. <laughs> Good eye. Wow, the green yeah. swamp. All three of us: Mogion, Tristan yeah. from Hidden Relief, yeah, and yeah. Bigfoot Anon, Tim T. Central Florida Bigfoot, all of them, Max Powers, they've all hiked in the Green Swamp. Florida Skunk Ape, of course. Then you got hair, hair like shows you what the hair looks like. Oh and wow, that's a big print too. That's from Nobleton, Florida. Nobleton, we're not sure where that is. You know, turd. Yeah, the, the actual. There's a turd. Oh man. Supposed. Yeah, supposed. Yeah, supposed. <laughs> Chattahoochee National Forest Cobra helicopter crash. Yep, I've heard about a bunch of fallen planes with treasure and money. Broken Indian axe head, digging tools. A forest mushroom. That bone looks similar to the one that Ninja Ronnie found, but his is just a lot bigger. The Great Battle, Bigfoot versus the Bear. Oh, some Bigfoot sign. Some cool structures, pretzels, bends, TPs. I got a Mystic 411 map. Oh, I gotta check that out. Here's the famous Bigfoot turd. Look at that thing. He must have had Taco Bell or Chipotle. There's a perfect tree twist. That's cool to see it up close and personal. Wow. Total incident, two witnesses. That's a real mummy too, right there, that these guys found. It's pretty cool. Yup, here's the hair, guys. Sasquatch hair. Deer like, hair, like, bear hair, raccoon hair. That's the difference between human and Sasquatch hair. Yeah, that, that really paints it perfectly. David's and we saw man. some Sasquatch hair this weekend. David Up close and personal. Mothman. Yeah, the Mothman. They sponsored it. <laughs> I'm sure this is what David Politis' cubby hole looks like. He said that you could write a whole book on Florida disappearances. So I don't know if a lot are marked on there. I see a couple. Cool seeing all this gear. The FLIR, trail cams. Alcohol, definitely bring some gloves, tweezers. McDaniel, Ben McDaniel right there. He went missing at Vortex Springs. They never found him. I'm going along this coast in a couple weeks, so I'm gonna do some exploration. There's a lot in Ohio. Sadly, there are a ton in Tennessee. Dennis Martin. And there's a bunch at Yosemite, Mount Rainier, St. Helens. Oh, man. I pray for all the people's families, and I just hope they're in some other realm with less pain and suffrage. I think that's it. Well guys, we're gonna go uh, wrap this up. I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed the journey and adventure. We definitely did. I've been waiting to come here for so long. And it's finally get to mark it off my bucket list. Hey, hey guys, we're in town for a Sasquatch hunt and some people actually heard him howling on the uh, mountain last night. So alive and well. Gotta spread the good word, you know? You already know. But we're gonna take one last look at the scalp and then the finger bone. The Pegbachi finger bone was smuggled out of Nepal by hiding the finger bone in actor Jimmy Stewart's wife's lingerie bag. Of course, it marked as DNA from a human being. And they wanted to say it was contaminated, but no, I think these creatures are human hybrids. But there is a lot of variations of them as we heard the past few nights. It's nice to see people out here visiting the Eight Canyon and the Expedition Bigfoot. The guest book, yeah, for sure, for sure. Write a comment. You should write Mogion Monster.
I already put my name. <laughs> put a comment. Um, <laughs> Squatch and cowboy. Squatch out. What a cool place, guys. What a cool place. Ron Moorhead. Definitely recommend it, guys. If you guys are ever in Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, it's right here. Right by the Okoe River, where you can do whitewater rafting. Visit where they held the Olympics. Magical place. Take it easy, guys.